In this video we are going to see how to check if the nodes of the linked list form a palindrome. So first we need to know what is a palindrome. So I have given three examples here. The first two are palindromes and the third one is not. So here you can see the pattern that first letter is A and the last letter is A. Similarly, second last is B and second is also B. Then we have C and C and then D. So there is a complete symmetry. If I draw a line from the middle element, then the left hand side will look like a mirror image. C is nearest to this middle, so here also. So first and last are same, second and second last are th same, third and third last are same, and so on till it reaches the middle element. So this was the case where we had one middle element and we had odd number of letters. Now let's see when we have even number of letters. Like here we have six letters, here we had seven letters. So here there is no middle element but there is a plane which will divide this string. So here again you can see these are mirror images of each other. So C is here, C is here, then B and here also B and the first one is A and the last one is A. So these two are palindromes. Whereas in the case of third, so this is the middle line, we straight away find that C is not equal to D or if we start from this side first is equal to last so that's good second is equal to second last that's also good but third is not equal to third last so this violates that property so this is not a palindrome so I have taken two examples of linked lists one with odd length one with even length and both are uh, palindromes exactly uh, these are the linked list. The first two, these two, I have created linked list out of that. So how can we check that if the linked list represents a palindrome or not? We are just given the pointer to head. So there are a few methods to do that. So first simplest method is, let's take this example. This is a smaller one. So using stack last in first out so the element that is inserted last is the one that will be removed first so like when we keep something on top of each other like we have one book I kept another book on top of that and then another book so this third book I put on the top but when I re start removing one by one, this is the book that I will remove first. So last in is the first out. So how can we solve this using stack? So we will start traversing the list. So I will start from A. And when I traverse, I will start putting them in a stack. So I have a stack. So first element is A, so I will put A here, then we move to B, so I insert B, then C, then again C, then B, and in the end A. So when we start popping from this stack, the top element will be popped first. So now we have traversed the list list once and created this stack S. Now we start traversing again. So again A we will start from the first node that will be the first node of the linked list but the element on the top of the stack will be the last node of the linked list because uh, the elements are inserted in the reverse order. So effectively this is the last element, this is the second last element, third last and this is the first element. So now in palindrome we were comparing first with last, second with second last. So here also. So again we start traversing, we are here, first element is A and then we pop this element. 
so effectively this is the last element so we see that this is a and this a both are same so first and last element is same now move to next element b now this element has been popped out so b is on the top so again we will pop the top element and it's b which is same as this then we will move here at c and again we have c then again c and then finally second last is b and here also then we will move to last element a and there is only one element left in the stack and that is a so we see that uh, it uh, satisfies the property for palindrome so we will say that it's palindrome but in this case what is the time complexity we traverse the list twice so that is order n so time is order n and space space also is order n because we are keeping a stack of size n where n is the number of elements in the list so this is a good solution but here we have time complexity is obviously cannot be less than order n because we have to traverse the list but here we are also using additional order n space so we will try some other approach so in this approach what I will do I will find the middle element find middle element then reverse the second half of list then check that first and second halves are same then finally reverse the second half again to get back the list original list because we don't want to change the list so what I am trying to do here like we have to compare this first with last but how we will do that so what we will do first find the middle element so here we have uh, even number of elements so this will point to the middle element both of these can be middle but as I had explained in my uh, earlier lectures so how we can find the middle element so in that case we were taking this second one as the middle element so this will be our middle element and so this part is also a linked list in itself because this is the first node we can treat this as head and then go next next so we will find the middle element so we have done that see the middle element then reverse the second half so what we will get so we will get uh, A here, B here and C here after reversing this second half. Now we keep two pointers, one here and another here in the second half after reversing the list. And I will advance both these pointers by one step so both these are currently A so these are equal remember this is the last element because we have reversed it so A comes here this is the second last and this is the third last and here we have first second third so here A and A are same so I will advance to this and now we have B and this will move here so this is also B so when we find inequality we will stop and say that it's not palindrome but we are getting equality so we will keep going so again C so all are same and now we have traversed this list and also this list so we will say that yes this is a palindrome and once we are done 
we will again reverse this second half and get back the original. So in this case, what's the time complexity? We have to traverse the list. Too. So again, time complexity will will be order in. But space complexity, we are just keeping a few pointers like uh, the middle node. We are storing the middle node. So that will be the pointer while used while traversing to the second half of the list and one pointer for traversing the first half of the list. So just two pointers, so constant number of pointers and this will not depend on the number of elements in the list. So space complexity is order 1, time complexity is order n. Whereas in the case of using a stack we had both space and time complexity as order 1, order n. So this would be a better solution. And uh, I had uh, give, made a complete video on finding the middle element and also uh, reversing the list. So both these concepts are used in the second method. So you can watch those videos if if you want to know how to reverse a list. I have given one iterative solution and one recursive solution for reversing the list. I will share those video links in the description below. So thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe my channel.